can you solve this SAT math question? It's not actually as easy as it looks. So here we're asked to calculate the value of x. Let's learn how to solve it together. So the first thing I'm going to do is square both sides. And if I do that, it's gonna look like this. I have x root x squared and I have 64 squared. Now remember when I have a square on the outside like that, I actually have to square everything on the inside. So that exponent of two will be applied to the x and the root x separately. And so that's gonna look like this next line where I have x squared times root x squared, which is again equal to 64 squared. Now the square root and the power of two are actually inverse, so they'll cancel each other out. And that's gonna leave me with this, x squared times x is equal to 64 squared. Now x squared is just x times x, so x times x times x is just x to the power of three. And now you're probably wondering, well, what are you gonna do with the 64? Are you gonna simplify that side? Well, of course I am. Four times four times four is 64, which is the same as saying four to the power of three. So I can substitute in four to the power of three instead of 64. And that means that four to the power of three to the power of two is the same as 64 to the power of two. Whether I have four to the power of three to the power of two, or I have four to the power of two to the power of three, no matter what, it's going to be the same value. So I can actually write it like this instead. And the reason I wanna do that is so I can now do this final step where I cancel out the threes. I now have x is equal to four squared. Well, that's easy. X is equal to 16. Did you get this one right? Let me know in the comments.